Welcome, and I'm sure you all know, but it is the second anniversary of my YouTube account. And yeah, so I've been on YouTube about two years, since about uh, four days ago, I turned 15 years old, and my YouTube account turned two years old. So I'm making a little video just to kind of show you what it's going to be like. Well, not really what it's going to be like, but kind of, kind of what it's been like for my life. First, let me get to my video manager. Before I go on, new videos. I know I haven't uploaded one in a while. Uh, obviously, I'm uploading this one. New videos are going to be coming soon, like uh, Epic Mickey Part 8, I think. Yeah, Epic Mickey Part 8 will be coming, and... Not really many people have watched it, and Irate Gamer's Mom, Ladybug on 777, I'm sorry I haven't had time for it, but this is a long game, I need to kind of get as much as I can done. But anyway, yes, um, here we are, Epic, uh, Epic Mickey Part 8, and SMBO Update. It seems like a lot of people, let it focus, want to watch that video, because there's like 98 views on it already. So that, that's, a good, that's a good thing. So yeah, so those are the new videos that I'm get, that are gonna be um, coming soon. It's just some more SMBO. I will finish SMBO. Do not worry. I think Mickey Part Eight. Uh, I'll do some more trilogies and random video series like DKCR, Golden Temple, and uh, I'll do. I'm only doing the SMBO trailers for the ones for the absolutely avoid reviews. And yes, I will upload specials like this 150th upload special I made. In case you haven't watched that, let's just take a glimpse at it. Hello, for my 150th special. Hit, so you can break those speed booster blocks right there. Like, just hit down, and then walk over there. And if you get no unconfirmed mission objective from the game Metroid Fusion. For my 200th video, I got no idea what I'm going to do. I'll see y'all later. And that's true, I really have no idea what I'm going to really do. But anyway, um, so yeah, that's really it. Alright, a new series is going to be coming out, and I've been kind of having this, having this in mind for an extremely long time, since like September. I, I knew I wanted to do top 10 video game bosses, but then I kind of changed my mind, and it changed to top 15, and then became top 20. Well, I finally decided it's going to be 25, uh, if it ever loads. Okay, yes, I'm just giving you kind of a sneak peek of the list, if you can catch which games they're from. Yes, top 25 video game bosses, and uh, number one is obviously the best. So, yeah, I've kind of had that in mind for a long, 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 long time. Okay, anyway, next on the agenda is going to be about SMBO itself again. So we're going to head back to the video manager. Okay, here we are. Well, as you know, there are 91, there are going to be a total of 91 episodes, and... I've only gotten 55 done, and I have, and that was like a long time ago, May 27th actually. Because you know, if you tried it, the website got removed. Just PM me, just send me a message if you want to know why exactly. But nonetheless, it did get removed. Because look, if you try to access it, if you if you try to access Super Mario Brothers dot org, it's not even on Google search anymore. It's just gonna bring you this used to be it, but it's just gonna bring you to Mario dot Nintendo dot com. And you know what? Screw you Nintendo. That was such a great website and Mega Ryux. Mega R Y U X used to go there a lot, he told me himself and I, I just really hate you guys for that. So screw you. And so, yeah, so much for that website. So I don't get in trouble for having videos on the website. But, but Yeah, Nintendo's official home for Mario. Blah, blah, blah. You think you're so special. Because you removed one of the greatest websites of all freaking time. Urgh. But, 
Yeah. Okay. Now. Next thing on the agenda is what happened in the past. Of course, you've seen my previous SMBO videos and my first three walkthroughs, which were on that Narnia game, which took only seven videos, but they were all pretty long. And that one inch two Dalmatians game and new Super Mario Brothers Wii was my first one and my first major one. Well, my second major one now, I think, Mickey. And then I'm sure you've seen my some of my some kind of random videos like um like my Epic Worldwide Explosion trilogy, my DKCR Golden Temple, and uh, the the one where I sped up the Diet Coke video. And, yeah, so, oh, my PE9 series, my PE9 series, eh, I'm kind of glad I did that, but that's pretty boring, I guess. So, yeah, I'm not really regretting it, though. But, yeah, that's kind of what happened in the past. Anyway, my popularity now, I had two subscribers back then, like a year ago, because I wasn't very... I wasn't known that well. Like I said, I had that nine month period where I didn't upload. Whatever. But, um, now I've got like 60 subscribers and over 10,500 video views. So thank you, everybody. And, um, next we're going to talk about one fatal thing. This next part is going to be about trolls that I found within the past year of YouTube. Okay, so the first one, I the first troll I've ever encountered, I've mentioned him quite a lot. I kind of hate to say it again, but June 11, 2011, this total butthole named the 009 Cool joined YouTube and stole my Diet Coke video and was like trying his hardest to prove that it was his, which is pretty pathetic because you know he didn't edit it or anything. And his spelling was just god awful. I mean, his spelling was just terrible. Uh, yeah. And he kept making, and so like after I block him, he keeps, he keeps making, he kept making sock accounts to kind of piss me off and be on his side. The first one he made was named Chillin' Yo 100, and he actually had Chillin' Yo 100 subscribed to the 009 Cool. But look, five days after he made Chillin' Yo 100, close one of your accounts. You see this come up? That's, that's that's nice. And then he made another one in like August, and he named it username. One hundred one five seven, and he actually did stuff besides annoy me, but it was only one thing. He commented in some Backstreet Boy video, and look at this. This channel sucks. You suck. Well, you do, and I actually work on my channel. Mm, what now? And then, and then they made another one. And I don't know if you know this or not, but the first of my imposters, the one that looked like my name, it was the same name, but not. Uh, capital I's and lowercase L's look the same on YouTube, so it was actually Beast Tie Charizard 13 or something like that. Well, Beast Tie Charizard 13 was actually made by the 009 Cool. Surprise, surprise. Now, of course, um, to inform me of his little plot, he made an another freaking account named Flo Sheezy Yo Mees Y J B R. And he said, you should check out Beastly Charles at 13. That channel will be fresh. And I'm like, I am Beastly Charles at 13, idiot. And if this is the 009 Cools account, I will get you terminated. Now, notice how, like, none of his accounts, he just abandons his account. He only makes one comment, and that's it. I mean, look, date joined, latest activity, October 1st, 2011. Let's go to this other one. Date joined, July 22nd, 2011. Latest activity, July 30th, 2011. What the heck, dude? And then, and then, and then some other guy who I've yet to identify yet, even though it's been like almost a year, by the name of Funky Freshable attacked one of my videos. All, oh, he didn't really attack. All he said was fake with like a lot of A's on it. So, um, and again, this guy hasn't been active since the day he joined. So this could be 009 Cool's doing, but I, I, I just really can't tell. Leave me alone, dude. So yeah, I really don't know who is who with Funky Freshable. 
Another troll we're going to talk about is a guy that bothered my friend Mega RYUX when he still had his original account. And his or her name is called Lucy Awesomeness. Let me try and find it in the directory. Okay. Lucy Awesomeness. Now, this is not the 009 cool, okay? I, I, I'll come back to 009 cool later. June 17th, 2011. And then, of course, I'm sure you all saw my video, the 009 cool closing his account at the end of December, at the end of 2011, he finally closed his pointless account. You know, he kind of kept coming on and then abandoning his account for a while and coming back on, but he actually bothered one of my friends, Carlos, for a while. I mean, he just commented on his videos. And so, yeah, he wasn't really much of a threat. And then I got, filed a privacy complaint, finally got the Diet Coke video removed because I didn't know how to do copyright complaints back then. And then, so yeah, we'll get to him. And then he stole, like, two other... He stole, he stole one of my NSMBW videos, but he actually removed that on his own within, like, the same day he uploaded it. And then he made some video called Beastly Charles of 13 is Gay. And, and he had this video of me messaging him Say, saying something inappropriate, but that's not actually me, I swear. If you look through all my sent messages, so, but I have the same username, so, um, and if, in case you didn't, in case you don't know, um, Beastly Charitar13 is the only one of my imposters that is still active, and he hasn't been active, he's been inactive since the day he joined, and there's nothing really I can report him for. I'm kind of done with imposters, because he's joined November and he hasn't been on since, but, 009cool did comment on Beastly Charitard 13's channel, so I'm thinking that the guy that sent him that message in that video was Beastly Charitard 13, and that just means 009cool was Beastly Charitard. Or, he, the imposter, he created Beast Thai Charizard back in the beginning of October that he used that flow sheet account for. He messaged himself, but either way, that was not me, I swear, and he kind of removed that on his own too, which I'm glad for. But yeah, that guy's just kind of a fail butthole. He stole my video, he just creates a bunch of accounts, he made my first imposter, he may have been my fifth one as well, and yes, but before we get to Lucy Awesomeness, there's some other weirdo I want to talk to you about that may or may not have been him, may have just been someone making fun of me, but it's not in my directory, so I'm just going to enter the link myself. Okay, his name is the Zero Ten Cool, and he somehow hacked it to make it a uh, yeah. And I asked my, and he has been active since the day he joined, either November 29th, two thousand eleven. And I asked one of my friends to kind of mess with him. I asked Carlos Casti to go mess with the Zero Zero Nine Cool. But he actually, for some reason, he actually came over to zero ten cool for some reason. So yeah. And look, he commented on my channel saying, "I made a new account, so I'm a hacker." I'm like, "How does making a new account make you a hacker?" <laughs> yeah, so that, that 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 was pretty stupid. Anyway, back to the case of uh, Lucy. Okay, here we are again. Okay, now it actually has one subscriber, and you can tell who that is by reading the comments, actually. I know, actually, you can't tell by reading the comments, but I know who it is. It's this guy right here, strz 4 life 2 If you were watching this video, unsubscribe to Lucy Awesomeness. Now look, here's my friend Mega RYUX. You mean you're a hacker while you failed, sucker. So yeah, and then he's like, how do you report somebody? And I'm like, boy, you hack something? Uh, yeah. But yeah, have you ever seen those spammers that tell you to go to a website called subforsub.com and they're like, I've got 900 subscribers this way. And then you go to their channel and you see a lot of hate comments and then they have like no subscribers and you know subforsub.com is a spam website. If you go to that website, it's going to unleash some kind of virus on your computer. I, kn I do not know that from experience. I know that for a fact in general, but 
Do not go to that website, okay? Now, Lucy Awesomeness is one of the spammers, actually, that sends you those crap messages, but for some reason, it's he or she's the only one who is still living, <laughs> who is like whose account is not suspended. So I don't know what the f*** is up with that. Okay, next for trolls, we're going to talk about... A fellow that everyone knows by the name of Michael Batten. Okay, so Michael Batten was this kid. Was this guy. Okay. And let me find the PM I got about it. Michael Batten was this kid that for some reason I don't know yet. Some of my friends like Nick and Dirt and Dirt who used to be here but got terminated. Left later on. Uh, they just just hated him for some reason. Uh, I really don't know why. Where where is that stupid message? Anyway, uh, just a minute. I'm gonna find it for me. But yeah, I just kind of stumbled upon his channel because I saw. Would you, if you remember the, if you remember the guy by the name of uh, Der, uh, Derf zero one one zero, he's one of my friends, but he's not here anymore. If you remember him, he, I just kind of stumbled upon his. Derf first told me of this guy Michael Batten, and so I'm like, hmm, I wonder what this dude's about. And so, yeah, he just told me about him, and that's about it. But Carlos was actually the one who um, tried to get people to troll him. See, look, his first account was actually Jaguars fan 2004, but then he closed it. Or, but then he closed it, and then and then he has another account. But I, th this is when I first met him. Car Carlos Cassie says. YouTube.com slash YouTube slash Jaguar fan 2012. Troll him as much as possible and blah 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 blah. So yeah, that was kind of it. And then he closed that account and everyone thought we were kind of victorious. But then but then he said but then he comes back with an account named Wahama number one fan and then and then he abandons that one. He comes back with another account named Michael Batten. Yeah, he named it after himself. And he, and he says on the introduction video of his Michael Batten account, he's like, Now, I don't want any trolls in here, so hide this from your activity. And, if, and Ben Mason, if you see this, I want you to hide. Like, I don't want Ben Mason going on here, because then he'll tell Beastly Charizard, who's going to tell Nick Coleman. And yeah, Ben Mason probably would tell me if Michael Batten had a new account. And yes, I would tell Nick Coleman. But Nick Coleman found it for me. Thank you, Nick. And then he made an account called MB Wide World of Sports. And shortly after he did that, all three of those accounts got closed, and he's pretty much off of YouTube for good. And, uh, so yeah. My Michael pretty much just reported anything that pissed him off just the slightly, just the slightest. And that's about really it. Um, so some of the people, he, he actually got a few accounts suspended. Like, he got one of Nick's accounts terminated for copyright because Nick stole some of his videos. He got Necro, I don't know if you know Dr. Necrophilia or not, he's a pretty cool guy. He got one of his accounts suspended, then he got another one of them suspended, so he's currently using Dr. Necrophilia too. And Dereal FJV, that's actually the guy's back, that's actually Bomber's ac backup account, because Michael Batten got his other account suspended. So, yeah, a lot of people didn't really like him, but he's gone. He's just gone, so forget about him. Anyway, next up on our major troll list... We have a tr I have a troll by the name of, I'm sure I'm kind of tired of talking about him, but his name is Flabby Booty Harry. Now go ahead and laugh because that is the most retarded username I've ever freaking heard. I mean just look at it and look at his picture too. What the heck? So yeah, I mean, if you look at his background it's actually not that good. So I, I kind of reported his background image, but it's still there. I'm like, what the frick? So anyway, um, I kind of asked a bunch of people to troll him. 
and this is exact in this example here's a message right here if you have the time user slash slabby booty Harry a lot of you know about him already that he's more of a pussy than I thought he went on two of my videos and made comments that weren't even spelled but like F you you're gay and whatnot he had an army of suck accounts comment on them too so beware of that detail of the 10 plus suck account but yes that guy is just like obsessed with making sock accounts and he keeps trolling them with me and he even impersonates I mean I don't know if you've ever seen I don't know if you've ever seen um, Nicky W. Coleman, which is a Nick Coleman imposter, but that's made by Flappy Booty Harry. Ayatino Alex 5, that's made by Flappy Booty Harry. The fake Bat Dan MN is made by Flappy Booty Harry. And I actually have a list. These are every single account that Flappy Booty Harry has made, and you can tell by the horrible spelling and the unpopularity. Flappy Booty Harry only has 10 subscribers, and all these other accounts have like no more than 5, except for Nicky. But yes, the irator gamer, Justin's gay support, officer ass clown, meat eating vegetarian, big flappy Donkey Kong, I war reviews, Chinese sleep chant, castle blood, the bomb blast, bat damn in, shove it up your ass game, Nikki W Coleman, Iatino Alex Five, O to deodorant, I rape entertainment, and then he made this new one because he got tired of trolling me, so he just wanted to make fun of me even more because he thinks my videos suck, and he named it the Beastly Gay Tard Thirteen. I'm like, what the frick? And that's like just a fail troll, okay? And look, look, look what I put, look, look what I put in the bottom of this list. See, this guy is so lonely. He actually has time to manage over 12 accounts. What a noob! Yeah, what a noob is right. Cause he's just kind of just stupid and whatnot. And so yes, I declared war on him. And you, I can tell an account because he'll troll me with incorrect spelling, and he'll say my videos suck. And the three times he like sent a massive army in my videos. He, like, I just wake up the next morning, I find one of my videos is, like, 12 comments that were, like, all posted, like, a few minutes after the, after the other, and I, that, I can just tell that's Flabby Booty Harry. So, yeah, enough about him. Other trolls include this guy who just hates Nick Coleman, he, and, and he said, and it was called Nicholas Coleman Sucks, but that account actually got suspended. It's a pretty funny story there. And then he made a Dr. Necrophilia Sucks, but that, that's a failed troll right there. That, the, that is a field troll. The next one, and then there's people like the legendary ass clown, but that actually it got terminated. He has a new account now, but the legendary ass clown, screw you. you. You're just like a total um, butt to people. So yeah. And then there's some more trolls like um, this guy named 999 Dog Breath who closed his account. Not because of me though, I swear I had nothing to do with it. He says I'm a boring old fail and I'm like, dude, you got like six subscribers. Who's the boring old fail? So yeah. And that's not all the trolls, but if you want to know some more trolls, I'll just tell you. There was also another troll that I really don't hate anymore, but I met him back in September. His name is Extreme 3 Ammer. And I don't know if you know about him, but this guy was a total jerk when I first met him, and I kind of broke war with him in like January or so. But yeah, like he just, I just randomly find him on my channel, and he just said one word, autism. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm not autistic. And that's pretty, and he's got like, my friend Carlos believes he got loads of sock accounts, but, and he has one sock account named Filthy Gook, and I actually got that suspended in December, because that, that Filthy Gook is actually more of a, but than his creator, which is kind of something, but Extreme Theammer has been around for over four years now, and he hasn't been active on YouTube lately, but, I mean, I've kind of, like I said, I kind of made peace with him like four months ago, so I don't really bother him anymore. I don't really talk to him much either. But some other guy I met, Rexy2525, Rexy is still kind of still hates extreme grammar and he's still he's still kind of wanting to just get rid of him in fact let me pull up a message he sent me one time where is it ah here it is okay extreme okay rexy255 Hey dude, n never see you long time. Do you still hate Extreme Dreamer? I find him with the mic in Team Fortress too. And this video is hilarious, but for some reason, yeah, for some reason he removed it. But yeah, what he would do is just comment. Extreme would kind of comment on some videos and like 
call the guys, autistic or whatever. But yeah, then he had his sock accounts come over and troll me in. I still have one of his sock accounts blocked because it's not filthy good. Because like I said, he's still suspended. He's been like that since December. But D, there's, there's this account he has named DJT Caddy, aka the Spook. I'm sorry, I've been talking a little too fast, but yeah. DJ TKD aka the spook is just a total butt and he's still he he trolled more than extreme. I think he trolled my friends like the runaway brothers and whatnot. And so yeah. And then Extreme had some friends like Bob of Judea or that the that fat autistic um yeah. N E G R O. I don't wanna say that, it's kinda of racist. But yeah, like Carlos even kind of made a video about him calling it Extreme 3M or you suck and this is why. So yeah, it was kind of just a defense mechanism for me, but he never, I never, as many times as they reported him back then, I don't think, if anything, they just got community guidelines strike, strikes that have probably expired by now. But yeah, I'll just kind of forget about Extreme. Well, he's not really that important. Anyway, this last portion goes is a big shout out to um, all the friends I've ha met in the past year, and there's quite a lot of them. I'm just gonna guess their pictures, but I'm gonna put their usernames up. If your face is displayed, I'm kind of sorry, but <laughs> yeah. So thank thank you all for being awesome, and role play now.